Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial about how to use the organic learning resource add-on for Google Slide. So the point of, of the add-on is to create the structure of an organic learning resource, which is in a way um, an interactive mind map. Uh, if you want to know more about that, I will link, I will leave some links on the description, and you can visit us uh, on our website to know to learn more about that. So let's start supposing that you are, uh, have already installed the plugin, the, the add-on, sorry, on your Google account. So if you um, don't. I will leave also the link to the, to the direct link to the in the description of this video, but you can also find it by searching organic learning resource resource all together, and you will find it in, in the list of add-ons for Google Slides. So uh, let's suppose that you want to create an organic learning resource like this with the main topic, my favorite animals. You have three different favorite animals, which are dogs, horses, and dolphins. And you have also to, to describe more about what kind of dogs do you like. So you have Golden Retriever, Cholos Quinkly, and Beagle, like that. And also, in the case of the Beagle, you want to describe a little bit more and talk about the history, uh, the size and health has these three topics for that. Okay, so let's start from the beginning in our Google Drive um, with a, a blank presentation, okay? So here we will start, of course, with our title, My Favorite Animals. And here we, we will find uh, in our menu from add-ons the organic learning resource one. And here it's important to have to notice that there are three different tools which in general they make the same thing, they, they create the, the structure that, that we, we will need, but the only difference is where is this back button coming from? If I have this back button made by my Google drones, if I have this button has an, an, a, a picture, a file in my drive or even in my computer or my device and I want to upload it, or if I have this image from a link, from a URL, okay? The other two menus are self-explanatory. If you want to contact us to give us feedback, questions, whatever, it will be really, really appreciated for us. So let's start uh, by dividing this first slide, the number one, into our three first topics, okay? So I have to create these three different topics from the slide number one here, okay? And I need a picture which will be in these three new slides has a back button to this one. So this picture has to have some something related with this topic, my, my favorite animals. That's why I prepare in advance a picture with my three different um, favorite animals here by doing like this, this picture like uh, with the tool drawing from the Google Drive. Let's start. So I will choose the first option. So here I have the, the picture I made by, by the, this tool from Google, from Google Drive. So I will choose the, the picture that I want for that button to have. And actually I have to just follow the instructions. The, the software asked me, what slide do you want to subdivide? 
for sure I, I have in this case only one slide so I have to say okay the first one because I don't have another bot um, and then how many new slides do you want me to create so in our case we want to have three new topics so I have to say three new slides and then I have to say what is the, nom the name of each sub -nom uh, subtopic for the, to the subtopic number one it will be based on our diagram uh, dogs then horses and then dolphins okay so here we'll say I will say dogs okay horses the program tell me horses is on the list and Dolphins. Dolphins is on the list. In the in the moment at, that I say okay, automatically the the add-on will create these three new slides here. Takes a while. If you create too much slides, it will take longer. Don't worry. At the end, will appear here the three new slides. And if you notice, of course, in our first slide, in our main slide, which we wanted to divide, appears these three elements, which you can notice that now they have these three links to the respective slides. And this is what is the advantage of using this um, add-on if you have a really a big um, a big presentation which you want to make like an organic learning resource with uh, many topics related and so on what is the functionality that we create with this structure i will just show you that in the presentation mode you will see if i click here Automatically, I'm going to the, the the slide number one, and I I can see here the picture I choose from my drive, the draw, and this works like a back button to the main slide, the one that I subdivide. So every single of these new slides will have this back button picture to the first one the one that I decide to, to, to divide. So, just to give you an, an, another example and say that this is, uh, of course, um, an add-on that you can use preiteratively. So, you can go now, and in order to follow our structure, to subdivide this slide docs into three new ones, which have those names, okay? so. I will subdivide the slide number two. So I will go back to my add-on organic learning and this time I will uh, upload a picture from my computer. So in this case, I have to choose the second option. Yeah. And in this menu, I will be able to choose even from picture that I have on my drive already or a picture I have in my computer. In this case, I have already downloaded this, this one. I just drag and drop the file that I want to upload. And at the end, the software will ask me, okay, which slide do you want to divide? In this case, is the number two. So I will say the number two, please. How many new slides do you want me to create? According to our structure, we need three. So three again, just hit click. And then there is the need to put here the names. I will just copy that quickly. Third topic, when I say okay, it's finished automatically under the slide number two the software will create these three new slides and also the randomly positioned uh, icons or links to the respective 
um, pages, right? Um, as a default, these elements are always like uh, in this shape with text, but after that you can edit it or uh, modify it as you wish. So if you will see here, there are the three new different slides, always with the, the title uh, correctly or um, respective to the name that we, we call it. So, if I'm going to the presentation mode again, I will see that in the, in the slide from Docs, I have these three different elements and I can go there. And if I click here, I will go back to the doc um, section, right? So in this case, I am creating this interaction with the uh, slide number two which was the one I subdivide. And this is important to understand what is the logic behind the, the, the add-on. Um, the, third, the third example I want to show you is in order to create this, um, the last structure uh, under the Beagle slide or the Beagle um, part of my, my organic learning resource, I have to notice where this is slide, the, the, the slide is, in this case, is the number five. I will choose, in this case, the, num the, the third option, uh, because in this case, I have the, pic the, the, the picture of the back button. Uh, it's a link or a URL for a specific picture I, I don't have in my computer or even in my drive. Um, I will choose this option, and uh, in, for this case, the interface will change a little bit. Uh, we will get this uh, sidebar on the right and la uh, on the right side, um, and here we we will have to uh, choose which slide we would like to um, subdivide. In this case, we said is the number five because it's about the beagle, and here I have to paste the link of that picture that I want to use as a back button. So, in this case, I found this. And normally, when you are looking at a picture in internet, well, this is normally the URL. But if you notice, at the end of this URL, in the case of Pixabyte, um, they don't show here what is the extension of the file. So the, gra the, the correct way of doing that is clicking uh, with the right button and copy the link of that picture. Because in that case, I will do that. Here is the option. Copying that link will let me go here and paste it. And what we got is the, the file by itself. I, I can see what is the extension of that picture. And it's important to notice that this add-on works only with pictures which has a JPG extension or PNG extension. Any other kind of picture won't, um, won't work for this back button. So just take care about that. And then you have to say how many new slides do you want for this. And as long as I was very original with this structure, we always divide in three, but you of course can choose um, other number. Even in this case, I will decide don't put this one and just cut it into the two of these in order to show you that it's also possible and don't make so long this video. So I will choose two more slides and I will say submit. After that, I have to follow the instruction. What is the name of the subtopic number one? It's history. History is add. And the second name was size. So I will add these two. And I have to wait until the software adds these two new slides under the one that I subdivide. As I said, these elements will be randomly positioned in the slide that I, that I am dividing, but always I am 
able to change the position, even the shape of this. Uh, um, if I want to put another, I don't know, uh, circle, uh, also change the text for sure. If I want to put it in the middle and so on, you can do whatever you want. This is an uh, an element in your slide. You want if you want to put it some thing crazy, you can do it. Um, so I think I have covered all the functionalities of this uh, add-on. The best option is to start with a blank presentation, create the structure, and then when you are ready or almost ready with your structure, you start to put the content on every single slide. In that case, in, in this way, you will be able to create a really nice organic learning resource. Uh, for sure, if you want, if you are interested to join us, please uh, check our website. We are um, very happy if you want to contribute uh, by sharing your organic learning resource with the world. We are able to give you a um, contributor account and so on. If you want to contact us, we will be really grateful to to work together. The idea of uh, having this add-on has, has, uh, has an open source software is also to give you the opportunity if you want to contribute. If you are a developer and found uh, that this is a good idea, maybe you are able to contribute to improve the code. Well, I hope you are uh, happy with the add-on, enjoy it, and give me some some feedback if you want to 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 comment on that and so and make suggestions for uh, new futures or yeah whatever you find um well i will i will be happy to read your comments on the video below and until next time i will leave you here thanks for watching and ciao ciao